Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get started with JRules Rule Studio and show you how to write your first simple business rule. So the first thing we're going to do is launch Rule Studio and we're going to create a standard Java project which is going to be the source of the executable object model for our business rules. So I'm going to create a new Java project called Test ZOM. So ZOM is executable object model and then I'm going to add a new class to the project. I'm going to call this class customer and drop it into the iLog package. I'm going to create a single attribute of type string called name and then I'm going to use Eclipse to generate the getters and setters for the attribute. So now we have a very simple executable object model written in Java and I'm going to switch to the rule perspective and create a rule project that references that um, Java project. So we're going to from the list of templates we're going to select the option rule project with a bomb name our project test rules select the required java project and then we can press finish so the project template has created a new rule project it's created a, a sample rule flow which is an orchestration mechanism for rules and a single rule package with one business rule inside it. It's also imported the executable object model into the business object model and here we can see our class customer imported into the BOM, the business object model. So the first thing we have to do is define a parameter and we can either do that using the rule project map which has a hyperlink or we can right click on the rule project itself, go into properties and look at the rule set parameters uh, option. So I'm going to add one parameter called customer of type customer and I'm going to verbalize it as customer and I can leave the direction in out which uh, allows us to read and write to the customer. If I then go back to my my empty business rule, I can start to write rules about customer. So if the name of customer contains Dan, then and I can press control space to get completion uh, within the editor. Then print uh, hello plus the name of customer. So it's a very simple business rule. If the name of the customer contains Dan, then we're going to print hello plus the name of the customer. So the next thing we might want to do is to execute this rule just to see if it functions as we expect. So to do that we go to the run menu, we open the run dialog, we select the test rules project under the rule project um, option and straight away we can see that we have a warning that some parameter values are not set. Um, obviously before we can run these rules we need to supply an instance of customer that the rules are going to work against and we do that in the parameters tab of this dialog. If we select customer and then press the edit values button we can edit the function body for this uh, that allows us to, to supply an instance of customer so uh, ilog customer result is equal to a new ilog.customer and then we're going to do result.name equals daniel selman 
and then we're going to return the result. So that's how we initialize an instance of customer with a little piece of script that's going to be called uh, before the rule engine is invoked. Apply that change and then hit run. And sure enough, hello Daniel Salmon is printed to the console. Um, if I change the rule, uh, if the name of customer contains Sam instead of Dan, save the rule and rerun. As you'd expect, the, the rule is not fired and nothing is printed to the console. So that concludes this very short demonstration. It shows you how quick and easy it is to get up and running with uh, ILogJ rules. And uh, I hope you'll join me for, for more advanced presentations in the future.